Alright, so there is another Shover Henderson NPC pack. Now, uh, hold on. And this NPC pack is called the Trevor Henderson Extension Pack, or something like that. I kind of forgot. Uh, yes, I'm recording this at 30 frames. Um, so you know, uh, so there's a siren. Here's there's a siren head that's been added. There's some cartoon dogs. I'm not getting too close. So your ears don't die. And there's also day 17. And there's also a uh, country old creature. Also some bridge worms. And some of these you already seen. So I'm just gonna show you what they do, their health, how to do, defeat them or something. Cause uh, you know what? Why not? You know? All right. So the first creature we're gonna take a look at is Cartoon Dog Phase One. So this one is basically like Cartoon Cat, except different. Uh, kind of different. I'm saying kind of. It's not that different. The only difference is its appearance and its music. Now it's coming in around, around you know, with 5,000 HP. You know, uh, yeah. Now I actually found out where the original cartoon cat theme came from. It's from a BDD boob. I think I said that right. Um, I think. Uh, I, I forgot the episode, but uh, yeah, it's from that. I'll link in the description. And I see in the comments, it's just, oh, cartoon cat theme. So, uh, oh, cartoon cat theme. So, when you disable thinking for this, uh, it, it walks around, leaned over, and stuff. Looks like it's about to grab you or something, you know. Oh. Uh, so, if I disable in our players, it immediately runs after me. It, like I said, it immediately runs after me and it jumps. So yeah, if you're hiding behind a tall, the tall building, it's gonna get you. So uh, you just gotta constantly run from this. Now it, it it gets out of your line of sight a lot. You practically don't even have to move because it will just jump. Up. All right, I know what I just said there about not moving. You gotta move. <laughs> Now instead of, you know, making the combine fight the uh, cartoon dog, I'm kind of moving away from that because I see no purpose. I mean, there is kind of uh, who's going to win. Uh, of course, it's going to be the creatures because the combine, uh, they could die really easily, you know. So your best bet of trying to take cartoon uh, dog down is just range, of course, range. Because if you're ranged, uh, distanced thing, so if you're from a far distance and you continue shooting at it, it can't really, it can't really do any, it can't really do anything besides, you know, just taking a run at you. So yeah, that's that. Now how would it react to some NPCs? Uh, you know what, let's just find out. Oh, by the way, uh, you can open doors. I thought that was a building, <laughs> not a... Where did it go? So if you try uh, running from it and you're inside a building that has a door, it's gonna bur it's gonna bust open that door. Yeah, it, it still goes for a beeline for you. It just goes straight. They, it's the same thing. All right, so I spawned in some uh, NPCs, some uh, some citizens, some rebels. The rebels have guns. Shocker, ain't it? So you know, I I did, I enable their thinking. Cartoon dog immediately goes for it, and uh, yeah, just does a little takeoff head thing. So is it going for me? Wait, that's not how you play. This. All right, so know what I just said there? So it, it goes for the individual jumps over them I so yeah that could be something you can just you could just back up or and it will just jump over you constantly as you seen there it it eats your head leaving an entirely separate ragdoll and it also despawns so it doesn't lag your game
the grab zoo eats her head, does takes off its head or something. You know. No. Oh, there's still one left. He really do be jumping though. Alright, now that we're done with uh, Cartoon Dog Phase 1, how about we take a look at Phase 2? Now, Cartoon Dog Phase 2 is that, you know that image where it's like a cartoon cat, except his feet are his hands and his hands are a... Uh... Wait, what did I just say? His feet are his hands. His hands are his feet. Uh, his, his, his hands are his feet. His... You know, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. His hands are his feet. His feet are his hands. It climbs. It's like a spider. Except it's cartoon dog. It looks like this, uh, you know, hand, which is actually the leg, and the hand, that's actually a leg. And as you can see, it has a beautiful uh, face, you, you know. Oh. Oh. You know? So the way that this NPC moves is, you know, like this. I don't know how to explain it. It looks weird and it climbs. So, you know, if you're hiding, like, on a building or something, or maybe just like a street light looking like an owl or something, it's gonna climb up there, push you out, make you take fall damage, hit you, kill you. Um, maybe. So when I disable inner players, it's going to immediately run after. Yeah, like I said, it's going to immediately run after me. So this one's actually really easy to get away from. Because it's using its, uh, its uh, feet. No, his hands as his feet. So it's actually really to get a, It's really easy to get away from. You, can just, you, you, can, you can probably just run. I don't recommend you just walk backwards. I recommend you run backwards and not run into any walls. And you can just keep on running from him while shooting him. And you know, it, it, it just basically said that's the strategy. Now, one of the reasons why I'm not using Storm Fox is because it lags my entire game. So you know what? I'm not gonna use it if it does that. All the good? Laggy. So Cartoon Dog is coming in about uh, 5,000 HP. The same amount as uh, Cartoon Dog Phase 1. So, they, so the only difference is the appearance and walking animation and uh, and walk speed. Those are the two differences. And also there was one. There's also another di difference. Uh, it climbs, not jumps. So let's just take. Uh, let's just spawn in some NPCs and see how they react. And, you know they're probably just gonna die, but you know what? Sure. All right, got the NPCs set up. Let's just see how it does. Did, see how it do. Now it starts shooting, and uh, my game lags. Don't mind that. Now, I don't know if it does the, the uh, thing. What? My game is lagging. It's about to crash or something. Maybe my PC just bad. What? No. Um. Don't mind that. There. Oh wait, don't mind that, it's just, you know, so, it, I, I don't know if it, oh yeah, there's a goat, it, it's a spider, it climbs, who would've known, the hot boom gun is hot, who would've known, so I don't know if it has, you know, the fatality or something, you know, like cartoon cat or cartoon dog phase one does, you know, like take off its head, make a weird moan. It'll be like, Ugh. like it sounds like, you know, someone had to sit in the room and just go like, Ugh, and make that noise. So you know they they did some damage, not enough to kill it, but they did some damage. Now uh, I'm just gonna, yeah, like I said, it's gonna go up the street pole and, uh, yeah, like I said, it's gonna go up the, like I said, it's gonna go street pole. It's a street. It's a street lamp. Speaking of lamps, how about we take a look at lamp, also known as lamp, also known as headlamp. It's just this headlight. It's basically siren head, but uh, just a light. It actually has a light source. I don't know what it's hitting. Maybe it just doesn't like the floor. 
Um, you know, it's actually looking at me, so I'm kind of concerned. So lamp, uh, I mean, headlight is coming in around uh, 2,000 HP. So it's gonna be a, it's gonna be quite difficult to uh, run away from him. It, it probably doesn't have a, I don't know its gender. Uh, it's uh, it's called the lamp gender. Why does it look like my mouse is scrolling up? Is it, is just a, is just the stars that it's moving? Yeah, it is. Okay, so it doesn't have a face unless that is its face, and it's just constantly like mouth open, just huh. So it's actually smaller than Siren Head, and I don't know if it grabs you, but I know for sure it's gonna stomp on you, like you're some ant. So if I disable thinking, it's gonna walk around like Siren Head, hitting whatever it hits or something. I'm just gonna. Rem what is it hitting? What does it see? What do you see? If I just... Maybe this map isn't the best thing for it. Alright, so I'm gonna spawn him at this fun place with many fun things. The only fun thing is just this. I don't even know if it moves. No, it's just your decoration. Uh, okay, yeah. So I'm gonna spawn him again. Let's hope that he doesn't do anything. So he walks like Siren Head. Doesn't make any sound. He has a light source. He is supposed to have a light source. Hold on. Yeah, yeah, look, he has a light source. He could be a light source. A deadly light source. So when I enable it all, when I disable our players, he's gonna run at me. Like I said, he's gonna run after me. Alright, there we go, he's running after me. Now, as you can see, he's, a, he's slow. You could just run away from him, no problem. But if you get under him, he's gonna stomp on you. Or just pick you up. I think it ate me. Oh, now it's stomping my dead body. That's how it looks like when it's stomped on my dead body. Now, as you can see, it really hates me. It, although I'm already dead, it just hates me. It's probably the mod that I have, like, rag death or something. So, uh, it's making blood splatters on itself. It's still going at it. So... It will pick you up, proceed to eat you or something. I don't know. I don't think it even has a mouth. And that light, that light source is probably only, you know, bright enough so it actually lights up its neck when it's aggered, when it's mad or something. And as you can see, it, it can stomp. Shocker, ain't it? Yeah, it's still going at it. Um. Let's just see how it does with NPCs. Alright, got the NPC set up. The enable thinking. Let's see what happens. As you can see, it's walking menacingly. They, they're not reacting to it. Um, wait, it's, it's, that's not how you play the game. Alright, how about here? Alright, let's see how, what happens this time. It's walking towards it. Menacingly, they're not reacting. You, you're gonna, you have to react. It's gonna do some. Yeah, as you can see, it picks it up and uh, eats it. Don't know how. It just does. Oh, uh, it doesn't really care unless you shoot it. So if you get under it, or, or maybe it just bumps into you, it's gonna kill you. It's it's walk it's walking toward. Hey, it's me, Bonnie from Blood Kamisa. I think it hit me. Oh, hey, there's its gun. So basically, if uh, if Lamphead or something, uh, street light dude. Siren head, but with a lamp. Siren head, but uh, actually a, a street light. What is its name? Headlight. Oh, headlight. Uh, yes, so headlight's just gonna kill him. That's, that's what was supposed to ha happen, but didn't. Alright, let's take a look at a, a Siren head game. Now, Siren head game is from, uh, of course, Siren head. 
the game. No, it actually makes more noises than Siren Head. Just Siren Head. So it makes more noises, like this one. Not that one, this one. Hey, that one. That's the noise. It also makes a, this one. You know, like air raid sirens or something. Now, the noise actually comes from its feet, because you're at its feet level. It ha it's just a. Now, it's actually a. Uh, it's actually just cardboard. So, it has uh, some different sounds, like one from, you know, the. You know, like that one, a different one. Yeah, I ate. That's basically all of them. So when it walks around, it's it's like this. It makes no noise when it walks around. It bumps into everything. Like this. It gets around. But uh, it stands still. It doesn't blend in at all. Unless you're, you know, you're in a dark foresty area. Now after a while of it being spawned, or it just exists in general, it's gonna start, you know, not making sounds. So it's basically a silent killer now. It could be come behind you at any second. It, it, might, it could be behind you right now. Alright, here's another sound. Yeah. Alright, so I, I enabled thinking so it should be able to see me. Yeah, it's actually really fast, but really, um... You know? So it's fast. More faster than a lamp head. Headlight. So you're gonna need to run away from this one. Uh, crouch, crouch, jump, sprint, jump, crouch. If you want to get away from it, and just continue to shoot it. And it up. Oh, ah! Oh. Oh. Now the weakness of it is actually just um, it's actually just anything that could get in its way. And also changes its head arrangement. So it's actually going straight at you. So backing up and shooting at it while jumping, while jump, uh, sprint jump crouching. That one. Uh, I, I forgot what it's called, I'm just calling it that. So if you just do those things, you should be able to get away from it and shoot it. And maybe kill it. Who knows? Now when it kills me, it's actually gonna kill me. When you are dead, you are dead. So again, like any siren head would do, it it eats its victim. You shocker, right? Who would have seen that coming? Hot the hot glue gun is hot. Alright, I spawned the NPCs and uh, yeah, I yeah I had to spawn in some combine. Because if I spawned in like citizens, rebels, the turrets are just gonna shoot them. Now I spawned in the turrets because I was curious what it's gonna do. So yeah, let's just see what happens. Now it immediately starts shooting. I don't know who's winning, but uh, I think the turrets are superior. That grenade might kill the turrets. I think that grenade killed the turrets. Did it just say once again? Alright, so it's trying to run at it. Oh, they're doing some damage. It looks like they're. It looks like uh, the dust. You know when you like blow dust off a desk, it makes that. Uh, that's basically what it looks like. It's not a good explanation. I'm bad at trying to explain things. I'm not the right person to be doing this. But you know, I I already made some videos about this. So, you know, I already dragged myself in. So you know, we all we already know who's gonna win the the siren that gave head. Just the siren. This, the the game the the siren that game the the head siren the 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 Wii Wii man uh SCP and now siren head is not a SCP so uh, siren head's HP is, uh, is ten thousand the same with uh, the other siren oh I'm sorry uh, a headlight yeah headlight as you can see it's very intelligent it blends in. I don't even know if that's it. That could be just a twig or something. That could be just a thing. Who knows? I mean, it's walking. What could it be? Alright, now that we got Siren Head out of the way, or 
you know, those. Now let's take a look at a highway worm. Now, don't mind why, why it looks like you could think from Half-Life 1. You could actually go inside of it. I th it has a really short hitbox. You had to hit it right there. No, you can be like right inside of it and you won't even know. You're just saying it to regular, like, oh, what's that? And then you just die. Now, it looks. It looks really low poly. I was gonna. I was gonna make fun of it, like saying how it looks. But I forgot what I was gonna say. I think it was something like, it looks burnt. Um, yeah. Alright, so it has 7000 HP. Now, uh, when I disable, when I enable its thinking, it walks like this. Now, uh, now I don't know how, oh yeah, it can climb, I forgot to mention that. It looks really weird when it climbs. It looks really weird when it climbs. So if I just put it right here, no, you're supposed to climb, 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 yeah, yeah, look, that's how it looks like when it's climbed. It, it's a caterpillar. No, oh, it jumps back down. <laughs> it's a, it truly is a highway worm. When highway do worm. All right, see you later. Where did it go? Oh, there it is. It blends in with the darkness. I didn't even know that was it. So if I disable, uh, no, if I enable uh, and disable our players and get an attention, it's a caterpillar. Now it's gonna come back down and get me. Now that looks really weird. Alright, so uh, instead of just running backwards, you're actually gonna need to do the same thing with Siren Head game. Uh, sprint jump crouch. And maybe get indoors or, you know. Not. It. Oh. I think I died. So this one is a threat. Shockering it. This one is a, a high threat. It could kill you. Easily. What was that noise? You heard that, uh. Hold on, let me just... You heard that little beep noise, like that little boop? I don't know what that was. So, you know, you gotta uh, sprint, jump, crouch. Um, in order to get away from it. Let's see how it reacts to the NPCs. Alright, spawn in the NPCs and everything. Let's just see what happens. Now, it immediately jump, jumps and just does things. Uh, it just runs after them. It just lands on them and crushes them. Like that, it's... That... It's doing something else, that's for sure. Now the final thing is a... Well, it's going for its technique. The, uh, the thing. The, uh, the, the slam. The, uh, the slam crush thing. Oh, it's doing it again, and failed. Oh, got it. And he walks away. Look at him. Look at him. He's beautiful. <laughs> He's beautiful. All right, now let's take a look at the the little worm. Looks like a. Uh, it's basically this, but uh, it's just this, but little. It it still has. Never mind, it, it doesn't have its little flap. But when it runs out of you, it, uh, I don't know. It walks like this. When it runs out of you, it does like this. Uh, yeah, it just goes like that. It's like a... Uh, I don't know what to call it, but... You can easily get away from it. And it's really weak too, you know? Like, oh, uh, just... No, thank you. It's only 250 HP. It only has 250 HP. So you can easily shoot. So you can easily shoot it. Yeah, and it also has a ragdoll. So you can, you know. So it's just.
Oh, you can mess around if he wants it dead. You can mess around if he wants it. So as you can see, it's really weak. And uh, the best bet of just defeating it or just running away. If we're running away, you just run. That's it. You just run away. Just run backwards or some just, you know. And so you defeat it. Grab any gun and just rain fire on it. If you actually hit your shot, there we go. That's how you defeat it. You just shoot it. It's, it's really weak. So once it's dead, you can make. All right. So it just evolved. So it actually evolves. So if it stops moving, it's probably evolving. This little worm turned into this. Well, yeah, it evolves, and the next thing it's gonna turn into is this. This low poly burnt worm. It's going in the mines looking for the diamonds. The amount of HP. Now it's just this. It's just that. So you, I'm just gonna. It's not despawning. Oh, yeah, that's right. I have to manually despawn it or kill it. Oh, it has different skins. Oh, yeah, that. It doesn't like it. Let's just see how it, let's just see how it reacts to NPCs. Oh, yeah, I forgot to mention that I kind of broke the map a, a little. Only a little. Only a little. But yeah, those aren't needed at all. So let's just spawn in some NPCs. I already got the NPC set up. There's only a little because this one's a little. And I have more players on. Disable, uh, enable thinking. Let's see what happens. He's probably gonna die. Who knows, maybe. Maybe. It, it's, it's really close to dying. If I just added two more, it's probably gonna die. Oh. It just broke death entirely. Oh, it's running. So as you can see, it actually did something. So I think if it does damage, it, ev it, re it evolves faster. So yeah. Help me, Gordon. They put me in a chair. They thought that was crazy, man. Alright, let's take a look at chicken ghosts. It's just chicken ghosts. This stuff that drops chickens like this. You know, like this one. Now you actually need an entirely separate add-on for this one to work. So you know, it's just running over here. As you can see, uh, you know. Oh yeah, sorry for my, uh, my staticky mic. So chicken ghost, uh, chickens would drop chickens like... I think he just dropped one. Yeah, I think he is. So chicken ghost comes in with about ten thousand HP. It just drops chickens like this. I actually attacks the player. These are actually really weak as well. So you just you know you can get anything at pistol and just and just shoot it. Really weak. I don't think it turns into chicken ghost. But yeah, I don't know. If you just want to, I already covered chicken ghost in another video. I'll, I'll probably link that in the description if I don't watch it, so yeah. Alright, now uh, let's take a look at a completely normal man. So, this is actually a country road creature, but it's up to human. So, when you actually, so it walks around kind of normally, kind of normally, but when you turn, when you uh, turn off in our players, you get an attention. It makes G-Man uh, things, and one is at you. It runs at you full speed. Now, uh, no one runs like I mean, some maybe someone, but uh, that's uh, the uh, is that I know. <laughs> oh, by the way, it can climb. It's it's desperate for a. Uh, what's a funny thing for? What's a funny thing? A funny man can do. You can still kill it, even though, you know, it's not, you know, a country or creature yet, but kinda. You can still kill it. I'm pretty sure there's a chance of you just instantly killing it, if just with anything. 
You know, probably like a pistol. Probably a revolver if I just reload up. Yeah, but if it walks up to you, it, it says this. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Rise and set. So as you can see, uh, it turned into Contra Creature, and now it's me. Now, Nico is running at me full speed. No, no NPC runs. I mean, maybe NPC, no player. Unless they have a mod installed. So this will be this will be kind of confusing for new, be kind of confusing for new players to play Gary's mod. So they will think that's you. They walk up to you like, "Hey, how's it going?" And then you say that like, "Oh, cool mod. How you get it?" And then it turns into that. Now, oh, it, it's a fast killer. So yeah, it could kind of confuse people when multiplayer. But if you're just playing single player and you see your NPC and you didn't spawn that, then uh, yeah, that's probably it. Coming for you. So now it also makes an entirely new NPC. So you trying to despawn it is you're not going to despawn it. You have to like, clean up everything or just remove it manually or kill it. No, the thing that it actually spawns is this. It stands up completely straight. It's the same one. This neck is completely broken again. It makes this gurgling sound. It's actually really fast. So it walks around and stuff, shock rain it, it walks. It won't actually detect you. Oh, there it is. So yeah, here it is. It detected me. It's about to turn into it. Yep, there it is. It's really fast. So you trying to get away is kind of hard. You gotta do like twists and turns. It also climbs. And uh, when it actually catches up to you, it does a lot of damage and really fast. So yeah, it also spawns in with about spawns in with about 800 HP. It's gonna be hard to take out, especially when it's running at you full speed and it's about to kill you. So yeah. Now if I just spawn NPCs near it, it's gonna do the same thing as regular country or creature. And so after you know, just standing up straight. So you, I'm just not gonna show you that. If you wanna, if you wanna see what it actually does, I'll probably make an entirely separate video about it, and I'll link it inside the description if you wanna see it. I'm trying to not make this video like 52 minutes long or something, but it probably already is. All right, moving on to a uh, bridge worm evolve. Now, the bridge worm will, of course, uh, be a bridge worm, the same thing as this, except it evolves into this. So yeah, I already covered what Bridgeworm does and everything, and it's an entirely separate video. So I'll link that in the description as well. Oh, and it also drops other Bridgeworms. So yeah, maybe. I, mean, I don't know for sure. Alright, moving on to the final one, Day 17. Let me just find an area where, where I could actually spawn him. I, I don't know where I it's Okay, uh, how about the... uh? Can I spawn him here? Kinda, kinda. Wait, how about I just, I should have chosen a different map for him. All right, there we go. Found a place to spawn him. Now, day 17 is the same thing as breaking news. It looks like this. Now, I don't really like the design of it, but I can't really change anything about it. So yeah, it looks like the this, this is probably the eyes. It, day, it's, it just looks like day 17, but a bit different. So when I uh, in, when I make it so it can actually move around, it looks like this. It can't really get out unless I just do this. And its tentacles will, actually, will do this. Oh yeah, that. I uh, forgot. Alright, so there we go. The tentacles will hurt things. I don't know if it would... It will grab them and eat them, and also just stun them. By stun them, I mean just hurt them. The tentacles are the thing it's gonna kill you with, and maybe it stomps on you. Maybe. So it looks like it's something in the sky box, but it's not. So if I just let this be free, you know, like that, it's having a, it's having some difficulties trying to move around because this map was not built for him. 
So yeah. He comes in with about uh six uh he comes in with fifty thousand HP, which is a lot. But if I just, you know, do this, it he's actually kinda slow. Kinda slow but uh intimidated for sure. Now the chances of you killing him are really low. Oh. Uh, like I said, the chances of you killing him are really, really low. You can spawn him from like a mile away. Now I don't know if it stomped on me. I don't know if it. I don't know if its tentacles killed me. It could be done. It could have done anything. Now let's take a look at day 17 worms. Now, day 17 worms is the exact same as day 17. No health difference. Uh, well, although it does drop a worms like that one. Look, just drop a worm. Now let's probably drop another one. Yep, dropped another one. Now these are gonna constantly spawn. Not constantly, but they're gonna spawn and grow up to be a uh, high rate worm. So, yeah. So if you're hiding inside a building, let's say you're... Let's say th this is like a building. It has a roof and you're under it and uh, day 17 can't get you. It's gonna drop its worms. The worms are gonna come inside here, bust down your door, kill you. That's what the worms are. That's what they usually do. So I don't know how much it actually does. But yeah, I can't really. I, I could spawn some NPCs. Uh, these are just little worms. These are the exact same thing from um. The exact same thing from little worm. And you can't despawn it. You have to, you know, manually kill it, manually remove it, or just clean up the entire map. Now, it's not, yeah, look, it just grew up. Now, it's not as bad as Little Nugget. Now, a Little Nugget, um, Little Nugget. Now, I don't, I don't hate Little Nugget. It just lags my game. <laughs> you remember that time where it lagged my game and I had to go on a mass murder and spray of that? Good times, yeah, for sure. So I'm just gonna spawn in an NPC, you know. You know. So how about some citizens? You know, just rebels. So I spawned some rebels. There we go. Rebels are in. That's my dead body. I am dead. Shocker ain't it? Now, as you can see, my game is lagging a lot. It's probably gonna crash. But you can make out what's going on. It's running towards it. That one grew up. Two of them grew up. Oh, uh, two. The two grew up. Two grown up ones are killing. Day 17 is killing some, and the little worms doing nothing. So, yeah, that's day 17. I wish I could show you, show you more of him, but this map is not compatible with him. You gotta spawn him in, in certain places, or you just don't spawn him in at all. You could possibly spawn him inside the ocean. But, yeah. I mean, maybe they could change its model, but I don't know what they change it to. Except it looks like an ant, but it, yeah, that's it. All right, just try removing all of them, and uh, like I said, these things don't re the despawn. So you gotta do just see, do that. I don't know why that explosion happens. Okay, so you, this is the end of the video. I see you actually made it through uh, my uh, the video with my annoying voice. Uh, what do you want, ice cream or something? And uh, the other Trevor Henderson video, the last one I posted, got a lot of views. So uh, I, mean, I don't, I don't know why I got a lot of views. It wasn't good. I didn't like it. It just got a lot of views. Uh, kind of embarrassed because it, it wasn't well done at all. But you know what? Thank you for the support. If you know. And, uh, you know, if you're new here, check out some other videos, see if I'm worth subscribing to. And, uh, if I could say anything, it's gonna be... Yep, that's all, and, uh, have a great day.